Hello and welcome to Parenting Issues with Clara and Sarah. <laughs> Stuart is having some issues right now as well, so he'll probably come in screaming. Um, first of all, let me say that um, if at any point during this video you think this is kind of crazy and that this is more than what you bargained for, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just thought it would be easier to write a, or uh, write, um, make a video and um, explain like how crazy this all is. So, also let me preface this by saying that I did cloth diapering with Stuart for two and a half years before we potty trained him. And so I feel like I have a good, I don't know, background on decision making. Um, so part of the reason why I thought I would just make a video is because it, I could just respond back like, yeah, that's true, but that would be leaving out part of the story. I just usually don't have conversations with people because either people don't care that much about diapers and they don't want to talk that much about something like this, um... Or they care so much about whatever their viewpoint is that they don't want to listen to more than just like a quick answer. Um, but I'll try to give you what I think is a well-rounded answer. So the, it is true that water is expensive out here and there's a huge water shortage. So people are kind of like crazy about that out here too. Um, but that's not the whole story because in the end, it still would have been way cheaper for us to be... Um, not way, but it would have been cheaper for us to be still cloth diapering Clara than to be buying her diapers. But there was a lot of other, there were a lot of other considerations. Like, Clara leaked out of diapers from the first day she was born in cloth diapers. And we had that issue with Stuart. Mind you, there's a lot of reasons why it happened with Stuart that were our fault. Um, like we were using Desitin for a while and I could go on and on about that. But even when all the conditions were right with Stuart, he still leaked out a lot. And that's a huge pain. Like when you're in the grocery store and all of a sudden there's like pee dripping onto the cart of and your groceries. Um, and we, at that point, there were many points where we knew what we were doing and it was still happening. And so when I got the newborn diapers from Laura for Clara, and they were all washed, and they, she was a brand new baby, she wasn't peeing that much at once, and she was leaking out of them, and I tried stripping them and doing a bunch of different things to the diapers, and it was, she'd leak every night, and then I'd have to change her, and then she'd get fussy, and it was like, that is not worth it, because... I am not getting enough sleep as it is, and if I can just put a disposable diaper on her, change it in the middle of the night real quick and put another one on, not have to change her diapers, not have to wake her up too much so that now I have to try to get her back to sleep and it's frustrating and they're whatever, her sheets needed to be changed and they're sharing a room. Um, there were just lots of things that was like, okay, from the very beginning with her, I was annoyed that the cloth diapers weren't working. And so, um, that was one thing. Another one is, it's a lot of work. I will tell you that people will tell you that cloth diaper is not that much work. And that's true, too. It's <laughs> just confusing. Once you know how to do it, it's Mom, not that hard. Can I talk about my day? I do want to talk about my day, buddy, but can I just finish the video real quick? No. He gets jealous when I'm not paying attention to it. Um, like once you get used to cloth diapering, it's not that big of a deal, and it's just a part of your routine, just like anything else, and so it's not that bad. Um, but in the end, it still is more work than not doing it, and that so that was a consideration too. I was like, you know, I'm home, I'm staying home, but I also don't necessarily want to be doing this with. The amount of time that I have to spend with Aaron and whatever. Um, and they smell really bad. And we tried lots of different things for that too. 
-hmm. and lots of like different types of storage. I even tried washing them every single day, which is annoying when you have enough diapers and you have to be washing them every day just so that your house doesn't smell really bad. Um, and then you're wasting more water and it, I don't know. So that was another reason why we switched. Um, sure, you can have your vitamins. I'm trying to think if there are any other big reasons. Diaper rash, did I mention that? Stuart has eczema, actually pretty bad. It went away for a while and then it got really bad again. Um, and he's always had issues with diaper rash. And typically, when we would travel back and forth, whatever, go between cloth and not cloth, we thought that it was worse when he was in disposables. And I don't know if that was true or not because he had it a lot even in cloth diapers. And then Clara from day one, day like day one um, that we brought her home and had her in cloth diapers was getting diaper rash. And now you change them like every 20 minutes. Like it's crazy how often you change a baby. So then it was like, Okay, I mean, like, Laura washed her diapers a ton. I rewashed the ones that she sent me, and I ended up stripping them um, to see if that was a problem. And she was still getting diaper rash. And I was like, this is not cool either. And then she's really miserable and, like, crying every time she pees and just, like, getting up, waking up from naps when she pees because then it burns her butt. And anyway, so that was another reason why we switched. I was like, you know, in the end, it's more money. But all factors, all of those things together was worth the difference in money to us to just switch to disposable. Even though the benefit for the environment is probably still better to do cloth even out here. That was a big part of why we did them in the first place. But um, that having been said, this video is seven minutes long. I don't know if it's even going to let me send this. Um, we use cloth wipes for everything in our house. Cleaning, wi uh, wiping mouths, blowing our nose, and whatever. And that's still definitely worth it. Okay, this is so long. Bye. <laughs>